So rotor heads are a little bit different than spray heads. They're meant to spray a longer distance, cover a much broader area. So uh, you don't really see these a whole lot in residential applications, but you run across them quite a bit. Um, adjustment wise, they're, they're a little bit more complicated than your typical spray head. And a lot of them have a specific tool that you use. This is the Hunter version. And this is the little hunter tool that comes with it. And uh, you can pick these up at your general hardware store. But all of your controls or your operations are going to be at the top of your spray head. So you have this arrow here that's going to point to where your nozzle is, where the water comes out. There's an adjustment there. Uh, this little piece here is to actually lift this up and then this one has the plus and the minus on it. That is actually how you adjust the arc of the rotor head. So um, you take this little end of your tool here, push it down in there and turn it, and then you'll be able to pull the head up. And whoops, let me just throw that down right there and get to where you can see the nozzle that's in there. And you can also change these nozzles out for different patterns, but um, your little um, Allen key side here, you can feel it fit into place. That's gonna adjust this silver screw right there. So the farther down you crank it, the more in the way of the pattern it gets. So it's gonna reduce the, um, the radius or the throw of the spray. If you back it out, then you're gonna get more distance from your spray head or from your rotor head, I'm sorry. Um, for this adjustment here, which is your, your arc or how um, far it turns, this is a 360 degree head. So it can go all the way around in a circle, but you can limit that by putting this tool in again, you'll feel it kind of lock into place. Um, and if you want it to go um, in less of a circle, then you'll turn it to the minus. If you want it to increase the arc, then you'll turn it towards the plus on, on here. So one of the other things to remember with rotors is they generally have what's called a hard stop in them. So with a hunter, the hard stop is to the right. So you wanna make sure that the shaft is turned all the way to the right of the direction you want it to, to spray. And then when it stops, that's where you'll make your adjustment from, from that point on. And as it rotates around, that's where you'll wanna make your, your adjustment. Um, and just like on your spray heads, um, these also have a filter in that can become clogged up that you can clean and the same type of um, spring mechanism, so. And that's basically the Hunter uh, PG head. The Rainbird rotor uh, operates the same way. Um, this is also a 360 head, um, except for there's a different tool that you use for it. This is, um, the little Rainbird screwdriver, you can use this on their spray heads, on their rotors, on pretty much anything that they make. Um, same thing here, uh, you have a little port that goes in and you can turn and you can pull, um, pull your uh, sprinkler head up. This one is a little bit tighter. And then same thing, you have your nozzle and your screw on top. And that's how you're going to adjust the radius, turning the screw in more. Oops is going to make it spray a little bit shorter distance. Um, screwing it out is going to increase how far it sprays. Um, now, with the hard stop on the Hunter, which is to the right on the Rainbird, the hard stop is actually to the left. So if you're using a head that's not a 360 degree head, you'll wanna make sure that, that the shaft is turned all the way to the left starting point and then make your adjustments to the right. And those adjustments again are made right here on the top. Same thing, plus or minus, turn, turn the screw to the plus um, to increase the, um, the arc or turn it 
counterclockwise to the minus, and that's gonna reduce the arc and have it um, spray a little bit shorter of a, uh, of a spray pattern. Um, and again, same thing here with this model. Um, this unscrews from the body and you have your spring mechanism. You do have a filter, but it's in there a little bit farther. Um, and this does have a pressure regulator on it too. So, um, so there's your, uh, there's your typical Rainbird rotor head right there.